Today guys, we're gonna work on making lacing or a bowstring out of rawhide. Now this piece of rawhide, if you go back into my videos, I made this rawhide out of the deer hide. And as you can tell, it's dry and it's ready to go. So to make any type of cordage or lacing with rawhide, it's a real simple, straightforward process. What I'm gonna initially do is I'm going to, and I wanna specifically make a bowstring out of this, but the cordage can also work for bow drill or anything that you would need cordage lashings or bindings, anything like that. So initially what I wanna do is I'm gonna take the size of my hand, and this is a good starting point, and draw a large circle and cut that circle out. And then once I get that cut out, I'll show you how we're gonna progress forward from there. Okay guys, so I cut a circle. It's a little bit bigger than my hand. And what you're gonna do from this point forward, I just take a pair of shears. You can do this with a knife, it's just easier with a pair of shears. You're actually going to cut this in a spiral type shape, okay? That's where you're going to get your length from. So depending on how much cordage you need depends on how big your circle is going to be. So I'm just going to start, you want this about a quarter inch thick. So I'm just going to start to cut just around like this. I'm just going to keep working my way around until I have totally cut out. Alright guys, so I'm all finished up cutting my rawhide. Now what the next step is going to be is actually to soak this in some water because again it's hard. So when I re-soak this in the water, it's going to rehydrate this, it's going to make it soft and more pliable. So I'm going to stick that in, just check it every so often, and then we'll start our stretching process and our turning process to make our cordage. Okay guys, so I have my rawhide. This was soaking in a bucket of water here. So it's really, really pliable. It's back to being wet. And before we do anything, we want to pre-stretch our rawhide, which is a simple process. All you're going to do, it looks like a real flat piece of tape right now. And as you start to stretch it, you're actually going to start to get a little bit of a tubular shape. It's not going to be round, but you're going to start to stretch this out. And you'll feel it starts to stretch real well. So you're going to work all the way along your rawhide by stretching it like this. And this is also going to help you look if there's any weak points or any points of the hide that may be rotted through too much. And then if you definitely need X amount of cordage, you know, you'd have to start this process over. So I'm going to pre-stretch this. And then we're going to go on to the method of actually twisting it to make our cordage. So I'm going to finish this up. We'll get the camera repositioned. And we'll talk a little bit about how we're going to spin this into cordage. Okay, now that my rawhide is pre-stretched, I'm just going to tie an overhand knot in here to make sure there's a loop on the end on and I actually doubled it over okay so I'm gonna tie an overhand knot and then on that side I want to adjust that I can slide it over a toggle okay because we're gonna to toggle this up against the tree now there's a couple different ways we can spin this I'm gonna use two trees you can also use something that's weighted but that's just how we're gonna start this out okay on the other side of this, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna knot this off, okay? And then we're gonna get it set up between the trees. Okay guys, so I have, like I showed, I toggled off one end and I just tied that off to a tree. And then I just used some pieces of cordage we had laying around camp and I strung it up to another tree. Now it's doubled over, so there's two pieces here. And what I'm actually gonna do to get some tension, this doesn't have to be extremely tight, but just taunt, okay? So I'm gonna use a trucker stitch just to pull some tension on this, okay? And just check it, just so it feels taunt, okay? And then tie that off. Now, you can also do the same process by hanging it from a tree and putting weight on the bottom to stretch it out and spin it. So as this goes along, you can keep using this tensioning knot to tension it more and more. And I'll show a quick close-up of that then. But to actually tighten this up, to spin it, all I want to do is just take this stick, 
and start to twist the cordage. Okay, so we're just going to keep doing this until we have it how I want it and how tight I want it. And once this is done, okay, this stick is going to want to turn so you can just stop it and keep it like that. So I'm going to do that. Now this is going to still be wet. So as you process this, you're going to be squeezing water out of this, okay, and then there might be some ridges in here. So if there is, once it's the tension that you want, you can just work that with your fingers to get it a little bit more smooth. So I'm going to continue to do this, just watching my lines, making sure everything is looking good. Now that's going to get tighter as it goes, so you want to, if you need to adjust, adjust your toggles. Keep spinning that out. And you're going to see it's going to fall into place where it should be. And as this dries, you want to continue to turn it to where you want it. You don't have to do this all at one time. But once this gets stiff, you're going to have good cordage. So I'm starting to get close to where I'd want this at. And again, you can form this somewhat with your fingers while you do this. So I'm going to leave it right about there for now. I'll come back in a little bit and add some more tension to this. And if this stick keeps going, I'll just throw a, a rock or something in front of it. But I'm going to let this go. This is going to have to dry. Once it's dry, we'll have our cordage and then we can adjust it for the length of our bow. You can wet, uh, wetten it just a little bit, which I'll show if we need to tie our bowline knots or anything like that. I'll probably be able to use at least that end, the loop, for the end of my bow on my knock, this end will make the correct length. So I'm gonna work with this for a little bit. This is the basic setup that you wanna have. Again, you can hang this from a tree with weight on the bottom and spin it the same way, but this is a little bit easier when you're out in the woods doing it like this. So I'm gonna let this go. As soon as this gets dry, it might take a day or two even until it's totally dry, especially with this weather. It's gonna be probably dropping below freezing again so this might freeze up with a little bit of dampness but it isn't going to hurt anything at all I'll get back to you guys show you what the final product looks like get it on the bow that we made in some earlier videos and take a couple shots Alright guys, so my rawhide cordage is all completed, it's totally dried out, I'm actually going to take it down now, and I just wanted to tell you guys, you know, I was showing how in a previous segment, you know, you want to keep spinning that, and as it dries, keep getting more and more tension. Not long after that, the last piece of cordage actually broke, there was a weak point. So where it broke, I knew I didn't have enough to use it for a bowstring, so I just started the whole process over. And that's going to happen when working with natural materials. Not everything's perfect out here in nature, so you have to work with it and sometimes things aren't going to go the way you expected it to go. So the cordage is all done now, and we're going to take this off and then get it on our bow. Now, one thing that I like to do, which I believe I mentioned in the last segment, was the end that I actually attach to the tree with this toggle, I like to put a knot in this to begin with. So this knot's good to go. I have my bow laying here. So I don't need to mess around trying to figure out how I'm going to get a loop in the cordage or anything like that. I could slide that right down, get it centered, and I already have one half of my bow um, in the knock. Okay, so this other end there's from the research I've done a couple different ways guys do this and just as a quick tip remember your brace height should be about a thumbs up so once this is all strung up this line should be about a thumbs up from my bow okay so to get that I normally start with about a thumbs up in so that's where I want the top loop of my bow line okay so this is of course, you know, it's 
a tough material to work with at times, but there's no reason why you can't turn this around, knot it, and do what you need to. If it seems like it's too hard because it's too thick, let's say, you can always moisten this a little bit and it'll really quickly soften up, do what you need, let it dry, and you have your knot. So I'm gonna work on that. We'll get this bow strung up and show you what it looks like. All right, guys, so I just tied a quick bowline knot on this one end. And like I said, the other end is what I toggled off, so that's pretty well locked in. So, just gonna get this in the knocks. And if I need to, I would adjust the knocks, but my knocks seem like they're pretty well here. Fit in the string. A little bit high, but I think it should work for the most part. Okay guys, so that was my bowstring strung up on my bow. I'm actually going to use this bowstring on another bow though, so I'm going to have to readjust the length of this overall. But this cordage can be used for just about anything. It's an extremely strong cordage. I might actually mess around with the other one that broke and try some bow drills with that. Um, but that's how you make cordage from rawhide. And like I said, you can use it for anything including a bowstring. Thanks for watching. This is Dan from Cold Cracker Bushcraft. We'll be back with more videos shortly. Thanks, guys.